Welcome to the Purple Party known as Purple Nerd Channel, home for all those who geek out on all things Prince related. With us being in the 40th anniversary of Purple Rain, I thought it'd be fun to do my first ever ranking video and attempt to rank the songs from Purple Rain. And because there's no bad songs on Purple Rain, I will be ranking these from the uh, least best to the most best. And I feel I shouldn't have to say this, but this is YouTube, so I will say this. This is nothing but my opinions. These are my personal opinions. So if your ranking differs, that's awesome. Uh, matter of fact, let's make a game out of it. You put your ranking of the songs in the comments down below and everybody can kind of see where we all line up at. So let's go ahead and get this started with number nine as there's nine songs on the album and the least best song for me is Take Me With You. This duet with Apollonia is okay. Its placement in the film Purple Rain as an almost musical narrative works well within the film, but for the album Purple Rain, it really lacks lyrical substance when you compare it to the other songs on this album. So then number eight is Baby I'm a Star. And speaking of lacking substance, Baby I'm a Star is definitely a fun party song, if nothing else. But it's really the energy of the song that makes it better than Take Me With You. And we get way more of a performance vocally from Prince in this song compared to the last song. So at number seven, I have I Would Die For You. Although musically I appreciate Baby I'm a Star more, lyrically this song is better. The metaphorical imagery of God and Jesus Christ is very unique and a bold approach, if at the least it's a passionate explanation to what someone means to you in a deep relationship. At number six, I have Let's Go Crazy. Another song that takes a spiritual approach to the chaos that we call life. But the message is even more cryptic than the previous song. The guitar riff and guitar solos alone keep this song off the bottom of the list. Also, this song provides one of the greatest album intros of like all time. Which is why it became like commonplace for Prince to use this song to open up his live shows. At number five, I got Computer Blue. The sheer fact that this song changes melodies three times and still keeps you engaged with clever wordplay revolving around computers and computer programming, mind you this was written in 1984, makes this song just special. And again, the guitar work on this one is legendary. At number four, I got Darling Nikki. This controversial song is very much to the point when it comes to the lyrical content compared to the other songs. But its mischievous nature of sexual raw energy and Prince's screams make this a top tier song in my opinion. And after all this naughty talk, he ends the song with a backward message about God. At number three, I'm picking The Beautiful Ones. Bye. Now this song right here, with its beautiful beginning, its buildup of emotions in the middle, and its roaring climax, is something just like magical that leaves you in absolute awe of Prince. The lyrics mixed with the vocal performance works absolutely perfect on the album, as well as the scene in Purple Rain, where this song stands alone as the narrative to the scene itself as there's no spoken dialogue. And at number two, I'm gonna get all kind of, kind of, you know, just hell for this. At number two, I have Purple Rain. Purple Rain, Purple Rain. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please do not unsubscribe. But in my little sad opinion, I do not find Purple Rain to be the best song 
on this album. It is a magical song that touches your soul and brings out emotions inside of you that you didn't even know you had. And yes, although completely cryptic, the message is felt by everybody who hears it. The guitar solo is epic, and the song at almost nine minutes long doesn't seem that long. And matter of fact, you find yourself wishing it was longer just so you can get another guitar solo. But with all this being said, there is one song that's just a tiny bit, I mean a tiny bit better. And at number one, the best song on Purple Rain is When Doves Cry. So first off, this song is way more than the No Bass Line song by Prince. It's more than the uh, music video with Prince in the bathtub. And it's more than montage music as how it was utilized in the film Purple Rain. This is a standout, career-defining piece of art. Prince's lyrics are beautiful pieces of poetry aligned with perfect precision to tell a tale of love at its worst. And it is absolutely uncanny how this song summarizes the relationship between the characters in the film Purple Rain. The stripped down instrumentation is what makes the song absolutely genius. As without all the cluster of additional sounds, it makes you focus and brings you closer to the lyrics, which are performed in multiple layers of Prince's voice. But with the music being so subdued, Many people miss the epic raging guitar solo at the beginning of the song. All I can really say is that I absolutely adore this song. Thank you for joining me on this experiment of an episode. Please like and share the video. And if you have a moment, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and check out my Patreon page. I will have information about that in the description down below. And I will see you on the next episode where I talk about an anniversary of a Purple Family album. And until the next episode, I wish you heaven.